This week I'm going to be doing a massive range of stuff at school. I'm going to be doing a lot of 3D printing. I've got my Land Rover Club today. I'm going to be working on another assignment. I've just got a bunch of stuff to get through this week. I was tasked to make a bunch of different doorstops. Um, I finally got the stuff for the rear cab of the Land Rover and I can finally get started on all of this. I'm also working on a bunch of stuff to improve my CV, like um, I'm working on tasks for my teachers, I'm doing partnerships, obviously I'm going to Portugal. Um, now I have this potential task where I'm going to be making um, prosthetics for this guy that wants some um, prosthetics made and that would be a crazy thing to put on our CV. I mean, we might also get paid for that but so we're going to be finding out more about that. He's helping us work with our CV um, and yeah, I've just been doing a lot more fusion work as well. And this fusion stuff that I'm doing is actually really nice because I'm printing them straight away. So yes, yeah, it's coming out really nicely. I am on my way to school now. It is Monday and um, I need to start um, printing off this project. It's coming along nicely. I just edited some of the G code for it, um, increased the infill density and all sorts of stuff. So now I've got the files on my laptop and then I can transfer them to an SD card and then I can begin the print when I get to school. It should take about two hours um, and yeah, I can start basically as soon as I get to school. I'm going there a bit early. I've got a mock tomorrow, but I completely forgot what it was for. Um, so I'm basically going into it blind tomorrow. Completely forgot about it until today. Um, I know that it's the drawing one, so that's fine. And um, uh, I've also got, what's it called, that metal working thing tomorrow, so I can finally finish off that assignment. I've finished with the fusion assignment, so I can upload that, that's fine. But I'm waiting until the last minute in case I just realized I forgot something. All right, so I just finished school and my print is finished. That um, came out quite nicely. I only had one lesson for mechanics. We were doing um, angular something. Um, and then we also did um, mechanical advantage, which was fine, but um, just wait for those mock results. And then that should be set. But um, I have to slow down on my printing a bit because I'm using a bit too much filament. So I need to send Sutherland's link so he can buy some more of that filament. I think Wednesday's cancelled for that Land Rover Club, but I'll find out tomorrow. It is Monday now. I've got the Land Rover Club on Wednesday, and that um, project that I was working on with Fusion, that didn't work out. I'm gonna have to find out how to turn it into like a proper body later on. Um, I need to work on the doorstops. I completely forgot about those. The one that Sir set us to do. He set us a task just to make some nice doorstops, engineering related. So. I'm going to work on those um, today, just before the lesson starts. Hopefully I can start the prints um, today, maybe tomorrow latest. But yeah, I'm on my way to school right now. These are going to be called 912, so 9th and the 12th. All right, I've got my file here for the piston and the gear. I will start the piston one there. And let me just increase the nozzle temperature and keep on standard and then it should take a little bit to start printing the fan started for that one and the bed is starting to heat up it's at 40 now so i'll just leave this going as soon as it starts it should take about an hour that was the original gear it messed up because i decided to lower that face um, decided to edit that, keep it completely flat. I'll start that print later on. All right, so those prints finished and they actually ended up really nicely. The only problem is there's a bit too little friction on the bottom, so it doesn't stay with the door and it kind of slides away from it. But that can be fixed up with some rough sandpaper or something. 
So I'm gonna start the second print tomorrow. Um, and then it should be done by the end of the day because it's only about an hour. Tomorrow I've got that metalworking lesson and then I can finally write out the last part I need for that assignment. Um, and then I can basically relax. I've got my mock results next week and I'm gonna get my results for the CAD thing, fusion thing, next week as well, most likely. Um, and then yeah, I'll have the Christmas break or whatever. But I don't have much work to do at all because I've been doing it incrementally. So, um, I can basically just relax. Yesterday in that Land Rover Club, um, everything that I needed to order actually came. But I ordered the wrong bracket because I used the wrong... Um, part code so it came up with the rear bracket bracket instead of the front bracket however I still needed to order the rear bracket so that kind of worked out um, so I sent the link to sir and he said he's gonna order the um, front bracket for next week and we're gonna start drilling the holes out because I got the bolts and everything so I'm going to need to start drilling them out so that I can um, start attaching the rear cab to the base of the actual car. But we can't even do that yet because we've got another group working on the underside of the car where the prop shaft and everything goes. So we need to sort all of that out first. Our job is gonna be relatively quick because then afterwards we're gonna switch on to doing um, the underside of the car with them to speed stuff up. And then we're gonna to have to work on um, renewing the rear side of that cab. that's my car so far um for the epq it's completely hollow and i have those rods obviously i'm going to modify them and i'm going to put steel instead those are going to be hold to hold the wheels i'm not even going to print these out together um i'm going to make those separate components and then wrap them with either carbon fiber or get them out of stainless steel and then I split it into six bodies so that I can print them on the printer. I need to show Miss tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow, um, Monday. A little bit more. <laughs> Don't you shush me. Do you hear that? Don't you hear that? Don't you hear that? Don't you hear that? Don't you hear that? I've got the car here and you can separate it into six so that it's easier to print off individually. And then I've also got um, the axle that I'll put underneath the car. This is threaded. Um, I need to make the nuts for them then. Two, one on that side, one on that side. And then you'll lock them simultaneously to keep the wheels in place. I've got the wheels over here for the car. I just need to find out the diameter of the holes there before I actually print it off. Then, um, the last thing I need to make is a way to support that axle to the car. And I also got some sheet metal that I need to order, and then the stainless steel rods. This is just like a model. I'll obviously try and get that cut out of stainless steel first. But yeah, the trickiest part is making a third component to mount those two together. I created the axle for the Land Rover. I already showed you that one. And then when I bought in both the designs, it fit perfectly. And it's resting on there perfectly. So now all I need to do is modify it slightly so that um, the wheels can actually rest inside of that. If I just put the wheels there, they'd be stuck outside of it and they wouldn't be covered by the wheel arch at all. So I should almost cut that away and then link supports somewhere else, like going into it, so that the wheels are rested there fully. But um, I also cut 1.2 millimeter slots through here so that I'll have a nice stainless steel base plate. And then I can also trace the stainless steel around the chassis there on the CNC machine. And then um, 
I can start assembling it. The wheels are only 11 pounds and I can also drag these. Oops. Oh, I can only do it on the first drawing. Where is it? Oh yeah, I can also drag these and print them separately. I just need to cut that into thirds as well so it can be printed at once. All right, so I'm working on this code here and this is for my EPQ thing. So I'm just gonna try out a print at 50% scale and I'm gonna print it on a different face so that um, it uses less supports. Um, and then I can start off the print. I've got the SD cards here and this is going to be good because now I can see if the clipping mechanism I designed actually works. This is the corresponding piece. This printer over there takes half an hour. That one over there takes um, an hour. So I'll just start the printing this one. And change the nozzle temperature to 215 and put it on stable and confirm. Now I can just wait for that to start up. This print is really, really ugly. You can see it slightly. It's messing up already. There's a problem with this print about the filament stuff, so I can only see like that's why. I might have to redo this piece. This is actually really satisfying though. This This one's finally started up and you can really see that like, the first few lines on the bed are way better than the other one. They're both um, any cubic printers, but this one's like a Cobra 2 Pro, that other one's a Cobra 2. And this one's double the speed too, so let's just wait for it to get started fully and then I will just leave this be, come back just before my mechanics. I'm going to end this video here and I'm going to update you very frequently. I'm going to try to post at least a video a week because I've got a lot more going on. There's a lot more content now, not just the possibility of a portable trip or anything. So I'll just end it here.